All right, ladies and gentlemen, they might end up calling a yellow. We have one car trying to catch up, but we're getting ready to go green. They just said hurry up. We don't got no time. All right, folks. You've stuck it out for this whole time here. It's time to get main event action for the Fall Classic 2016 underway. Main event time. And this one's going to be a 20 oh, lap. Oh, man. Trouble. trouble. And a bumper. Double trouble. Double trouble. The 31. I can't get a letter on that one. But we have the number 48 of Cody. Kimley, the now we got a couple more cars spinning out over in the corner. They saw the caution and hit the brakes. We got disaster happening on every end of this corner. Oh man! Well, Tommy, that's what happens when we don't tell everyone well, what the uh, starting line. Well, is. okay, let's uh, back it up a little bit. There are still cars entering the track. Yes. So I don't think this race was meant to kick off as soon as it did. You're gonna have to remind me which button. Home. E.T. E.T. So still 20 laps and trouble. Well, that's not good. Now it's gonna be 21 laps. <laughs> caution. Of caution laps. <laughs> like was it the intensity? Oh, the flagman man. Flagman's like. It's a very vocal flagman they have. He said, no. Yellow means no. All right, so, Tommy, what have we learned uh, so far? I got to say, I'm looking through our comment section on the live lookings. Yeah. And everybody was more than happy for us to give them a special treat oh. of the second, live, the second B main of the super late models. But, man, I just think of all those people that are sitting home now twiddling their thumbs, waiting to see another look in? No, that's it for the, that's it for the weekend. We've no, given them plenty no. of opportunity. We're loyal to the people that came that, out here. That and committed. That's right, you committed and we're getting ready to go back to green. Main event, retry for the Bandoleros. Oh boy. We are drafting as if it was Caladeg tomorrow. I was gonna say that, Tom. Oh boy, and we're <laughs> gonna have Rex just as big. Hopefully not, but we might. With the way these cars are driving right now, a combined main event, no Different age group this year. These are all the Bandoleros on property battling for 20 laps, three wide out of turn number four. And I like it, why not? Yeah, yeah. of course. They do it at most other racetracks too. Battle for the lead over around to the 29 and battle for the lead over in turn number three. McClenny to the inside of Thompson. And Cabe is going to get the lead as the yellow flies. They'll have to revert a lap back, and Cabe's going to have to try to do it again. Tom, we're two laps into this. At what point do we start talking strategy? Fuel strategy. Uh, I think it starts now. Tia Guy, as the good thing about Tia Guy, Jeffrey, mm -hmm. is Tia has reversed the odometer a couple times here. Today. Yes. Oh, for those of you that have uh, tuned in with re us on Race Feed X before. Long haul. Welcome back. For those of you, for the first time, enjoy the evening because we got a lot of racing left to do. Yes. Main event continues on. Restart lap number two for the Bandoleros. Asherman leapfrogging her way from eighth up to the second spot, looking to get the lead from Cape McClenney. These two we have seen growing up in racing a lot more of Kayla, but I feel I feel like we've probably seen Cabe just as much driving the mini dwarves at Bakersfield Speedway and then progressing into the Bandoleros and now legend cars. What I like about the McClinnies is they hang. Yes. You can see, it's easy to tell which two they are, by the way. Uh-huh. And uh, Elsherman takes a lead. We've seen, we're, we're seeing Eshelman now starting to drive big full-size race cars now. Yeah. Kayla yeah. Eshelman has, uh, we saw her start out in the Bandoleros at Irwindale Speedway. She's grown up into these full-bodied stock cars. She's going to be a force to be reckoned with here soon. The top, these Bandoleros, man, they Ooh. they make stars 
in racing. We'll see a couple of them drive it into the super late model race tonight. Yeah, very true. Some side-by-side -side action into turn number one. 31 E. De Guevara, or Ethan De Guevara. And the 01 machine. Lab number five on the board, six now hopping I'm, on there. I'm watching this battle for third, Jeffrey. The 31 B machine trying to hold off Larson in the 56. Camden Larson and Jesse Love duking it out for third. Now move the 31 of 31 C of Adam Lemke gets by Larson. Kale McClenney in the 07 sees an opportunity and tries to close in. Almost halfway in this bandolero main event. And, and we talked about the comedy of this. I mean, look at this, folks. Look what this team did to us. These cars I, are virtually the same. They're all most definitely identical, except for this orange little letter. Little, and it's not big. I mean little. They used a different shade of yellow to outline the number. Uh-huh. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> how many different shades of yellow can oh, there be? Oh, and uh, how about this battle, 31 versus 31? Teammates duking it out. Do you ever remember Thompson who was holding on to that lead earlier on? Oh, yeah. He's about to go a lap down from Kayla Asherman. If, if not already a lap down, I don't think that car made it out in time for the restart. You're right. Turn number three has a battle for third continuing on. We are bumper to bumper to bumper. But uh, Eshelman's not hanging hanging out for this one. Camille. Cody, yeah, Cody Camille comes back on the track. Kimley, I should say. Kimley. Might uh, throw some lap traffic shade for this battle for second. So in the lead is a number 90 of Kayla Eshelman. Contact. Second spot. The number 05, Kate McClendon, looking for a caution to try to close in on this. Battle up, or lap traffic for your leader. I was talking to the mayor earlier. Were you? Yeah. The guy who was the mayor, at least. Mayor of Fontana. Yep. Big help with the California Speedway, Auto Club Speedway. And of course, I'm referring to Eshelman. Yes. But not, not, not this Eshelman. No. Darn. So what the? Oops, sorry about you that. You mean the? You mean the? My bad. You mean the senator? Or the mayor, Eshelman? No, I was talking. I was oh, okay. talking about Eshelman. I got confused there for a second because we have a senator here tonight. I, I was referring to the one driving the Bandolero wasn't yes. the mayor. No, that uh, Caleb be a little young for being a uh, <laughs> mayor. Yes. Nothing's changed in the top two. Third spot still is the number 31 C machine. I think the 14 Lemke. just slowed down just so he could race for the lead again. Hey, why not? Though no, that's going to be. Oh, look at this mess in the turn number three. Turn number two, we got the 48 around. Oh, but I wanted to see the three wide battle with the 331. Kimley lost it over in turn number two. Looks like there was some contract with the number 31. Maybe there was a contract for him to spin. 31C machine of Adam Lemke. Tommy, I'm, I'm blanking on Eshelman's name, first name. The mayor. Dave. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know why. I, I had a conversation with the guy last night mayor when I Dave. got a burrito. Oh, okay. Was he getting a burrito? No, he's got a hot dog. He's but he said it was really good. I asked him today. He's got a hot dog. I believe for all divisions, lap traffic will uh, stay sorted until yes. the last 10 laps of the race. Uh huh. So we're six laps to go. All right, here we go. Can Cade McClenney do anything? Can Lemke do anything? Eshelman's been strong. Eshelman. All, a lot of these Bandolero drivers were like, Eshelman, why don't you uh, move up into that late model and stay there? <laughs> I think we're seeing the uh, end of the Bandolero career here, but obviously it's been strong. Here comes McClenney, though. That's what I was waiting for. This caution could have helped bunch it up. Cade McClenney right on the rear bumper. These two have raced each other some this year. 
So they know each other's tricks. They know each other's weaknesses. Around goes the 29. Around is Tia in the 29. We stay green. She stays rolling. Eshman opens up a couple car lengths. Yep, that could have been it. It might just be where she is a stronger long run car. These cars not having to lift at all through the corners. Full throttle all the way around this 3 8 mile bull ring. Looking at third, fourth, and fifth. Second right there, McClinney. There's Eshelman, your leader. Three laps to go. And it is Eshelman who's ran it from the eighth spot up to the lead and has yet to look like she's going to change where she's going to be running right now. We're going to have a battle here for the fourth spot going into turn number one. You're watching that battle. I'm looking just a little bit back. Thompson battling with the 14 machine of Mitchell. Thompson gets by Mitchell. Like you said, Jeffrey, a battle here. We got Larson and the 31. Wide flag. Of Adam Lemke. I'm sorry, no. E. 31 E, that is Ethan. Ethan De Guevara. White flag waving. Kayla Eshelman gonna miss the lap traffic of Tia. I thought it's the fastest spin I've ever seen. But the white flag, or the checkered flag continues to wave. And Eshelman almost, could you imagine if she was passing oh. Tia on that last corner oh. and that happened? Oh man. Kayla Eshelman getting the checkered flags here tonight and the Bandoleros at the Bull Ring. Fall Classic winner. Well, this is where we're gonna take a, a bit of a break. You're gonna go and work on a camera. I'm gonna go and work on some updated sheets. I think they'll be ready for us now. <laughs> 